Hey guys, it's Christy and today I'm going to do a video on my personal experiences suffering from agoraphobia. So if you don't know what agoraphobia is, I have the definition on my phone and it's technically described as fear of places and situations that might cause panic, helplessness, or embarrassment. I also have like anxiety and panic disorder and you know like it com comes with a whole bunch of things but I wanted to specifically talk about agoraphobia because I don't hear a lot about it and I didn't even know what it was until I was diagnosed with it um, I don't even know how many years ago so technically it's as I said like a fear of being in a place that's going to cause you panic. With panic disorder or with my experience of panic disorder, my fear is having a panic attack in public. And I've only had I think maybe two major panic attacks in public and it's bad enough like one of them was at the movie theater, so I don't go to the movies anymore. Um yeah so this is actually like a really difficult thing to talk about and I knew it was gonna be difficult but I guess I didn't know how difficult okay so my fear is having panic attack and I have that fear almost constantly um, pretty much constantly actually and the extent of the agoraphobia that I experience is basically leaving my safe places which are <laughs> don't worry on the back here where I live with my boyfriend and my mom's house I get very anxiety ridden when I know that I need to go and do something. A lot of the times I won't do it. Um, if it's something that I've had days to like have sitting in my head and worrying about, I will oftentimes make myself like physically ill to the point where I feel as though I cannot go because I'm sick and I have a reason not to go so I miss out on a lot of things because I'm afraid but like that's it like I'm afraid I, I'm afraid um though I will say and as you can see in my vlogs like I do go out I do I have like as well as having safe pe safe places I have safe people and the safe people like basically it's someone that I feel like if I am to have a panic attack because now I guess I have to explain what happens when I have a panic attack when I have a really bad panic attack I will sometimes like lose like I'll faint I'll lose consciousness and that's like really scary obviously I will feel like when I regain consciousness, I will feel like I am going to die. And oftentimes I will say to whoever I'm with, call an ambulance, I need to go to the hospital, I'm going to die. And like it's just, it's just a horrible feeling. My safe people have seen major panic attacks and I have talked to them about it. And they know what to do if I am to have a panic attack in public. So, for example, I had, I guess my pan, my panic disorder pretty much like leads to, like I feel like I have agoraphobia because I have panic disorder, pretty much. So the other day, like a week ago, I went to the dentist with my cousin because she needed to get oral surgery and my mother and I were gonna be there for her and just like you know make sure she was okay and like also have moral support like who doesn't want nice faces when they wake up right 
Well, I have an extreme fear of blood. Um, the word, like I'm, I'm uncomfortable just saying the word. So what happened was we went into the room after she was done and the oral surgeon kept saying that word over and over again and I started getting really bad anxiety so I removed myself from the situation and I went into the waiting area and I took my anxiety medicine and like I just sat down and relaxed for a little while and I thought it was okay. My mom and my cousin came out a little while later because they were explaining everything to my mom and my mom's like okay I'm gonna go to the bathroom and then we can go and I was talking to my cousin and everything was fine all of a sudden I started getting like major anxiety so like I started dripping sweat and I could feel myself like getting pee like I I just I didn't feel good my mom came out of the bathroom and she said that I mouthed to her I'm gonna pass out which I gracefully did on the floor of the waiting room in the dentist so I'm getting a lot better with saying like trying not to say to call an ambulance because I don't like essentially like I don't want to go to the hospital like I don't that's not what I need I need to just feel like somebody is around me and I'm going to be okay and basically like I just say and my mom just like knows which is great but I'm just it basically just tell me I'm gonna be okay like you're okay you're not gonna die like everything's okay um, a lot of the times I vomit and I mean it gets like really intense um, usually using wet paper towels on like my wrists or the back of my neck or my forehead helps a lot so there's a really nice woman there and she's like oh is there anything that I can do she asked my mom and, and my mom's like oh I'm just gonna go get paper towels and I started freaking out because I didn't want her to like at this point I'm laying on the floor and I'm like she's sitting on a chair just like rubbing my back as I'm laying on the floor and I had just woken up from passing out and I'm crying and sweating and holding on to her leg like I'm literally holding on to her leg like mom don't leave don't leave don't leave so the woman's like oh I'll go get it and she was so nice and she got the paper towels and like I started feeling better and, and, and whatnot but that's like why I am afraid to leave the house I'm afraid that I'm going to have a panic attack at the grocery store like I'm afraid that I'm gonna have a panic attack and anywhere and that I'm going to say somebody call an ambulance and somebody's gonna actually call an ambulance which is like one of my biggest fears and I'm going to have to go to the hospital I do not go out by myself unless and this has taken like a really long time this has taken years I walk from my mom's house to my therapist's and psychiatrist's office which is probably about 15 ish minute walk I do walk there by myself and I walk back to my mom's house by myself and again that took like a really really long time it took a lot of times like me doing it and not having a panic attack and being able to say like oh look I just went last week and I did it and I didn't have a panic attack and then I walked home and I was fine and I didn't have a panic attack so that is the extent of what I do by myself I will all <clears throat> excuse me allergies <laughs> basically I one don't leave the house by myself two I will go out with my safe people and I feel really lucky that I am able to leave my safe place with like with people because I know some people don't I feel really lucky that like I have people surrounding me that I do feel safe with and can go out with and feel like I can go out with um, I feel very lucky that I can go on vacation and feel okay because once I started suffering from really bad panic attacks, I was afraid. That was one of my biggest concerns. Like, I'm not going to be able to go on vacation anymore. Like, I love vacations. Like, the memories and, like, I just, I love everything about it. And I remember I was going to Niagara Falls. And leading up to that, I had one of the worst panic attacks that I've ever had. And I was afraid to go. And my mom, my aunt were like, come on, like you can do it. I mean, if you get there and you want to go home, like 
local home. They were just super, super supportive. And guess what? Like I got there and I was okay. I was okay. I had a great time. It was probably one of my favorite vacations. And that made me realize that, okay, I can go on vacation and not have panic attacks. And that's also really helpful. The more things that I do and don't have panic attacks while doing, I get more comfortable with. So walking to the doctors, I am not comfortable fully with it, but I am comfortable to the point where I do it. I just, I just do it. I say I went last week. I didn't have a panic attack. I'm not going to have one this time. I didn't get kidnapped. Like I'm okay. Everything is going to be okay. And a lot of the times when I'm walking there, I have my music on super, super, super low so I can still like know what's going on around me. But most of the time I basically am saying to myself, I'm okay. Breathe in, breathe out. You're okay. Everything's fine. You're going to go to the doctors and then you're going to come home and everything's going to be great and you're okay and you're not going to have a panic attack and guess what? You're going to do it again next week and you're going to be fine. And that's what I say to myself a lot of the time. Yeah. Even, yeah. And basically when it came to vacations, I had to do the same thing. Like, okay, you went on vacation with auntie and mom and you were fine. You didn't have a panic attack. You had a great time. Like you can go on this vacation and not have a panic attack and be fine. He's sleepy. So yeah, a lot of my life revolves around saying you're okay. You're going to be okay. You're not going to have a panic attack while doing this. And Everything's gonna be fine. You're gonna come back home like to your safe place and everything's gonna be the same Everything is going to be exactly the same and it's going to be fine and you're gonna go out again and Like my boyfriend has been like we've been going food shopping together and that's like food Grocery shopping makes me extremely anxious like in general so I don't know I've been trying to go more and as I'm leaving the house, what I'm saying in my head is, okay, you went grocery shopping like a month ago. You're going to be okay. You didn't have a panic attack. You're going to be fine. You're going to go to the grocery store. You're going to get the groceries that you need. You're going to come home and you're going to be fine. And if you do have a panic attack, it's okay because Nick's there and he knows what to do. Like he, he will take care of you. It will be fine. And I honestly can't wait till I get to the point where I am going out by myself and feeling like hey it's okay because you're there and you know what to do and you're gonna be fine and I feel like one day I am gonna get to that like it took a long time for me to go to the doctor by myself but what is to say that I'm not gonna be able to go I don't know somewhere else by myself you know sometimes it's easier just to be like no no, I'm anxious. I'm not going to go. Like, I'm not going to do this. And I do do it a lot. I do it a lot. And I do it a lot. Like, there's no other way to put it. But when I do kind of force myself to be in a situation that I'm uncomfortable with and I make it through and I don't have a panic attack, I feel great. Like, I do. I feel great. And I don't want to be missing big, important things in my family and friends lives but it's nice that when I do my family understands and that is extremely helpful so sometimes I can even say to myself okay like I'm not gonna go I'm not doing it I, I don't feel comfortable I I'm not doing it and then it can get to that day and I be like okay I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it but I kind of give myself an out, like, mm, if I don't go, like, it's okay. Like, everybody is going to forgive me and whatnot. But then sometimes it's that little, like, sure, everyone's going to forgive you, but are you going to forgive yourself? Are you going to look back and say, I regret this? Because there's a lot of things that I, I mean, I don't want to say I regret, but there's a lot of things that I've missed out on that I'm, I'm sad that I missed out on. But I do feel like every day strides are being made for the better. And one day I'm going to be like on here telling you guys how I go out and do everything by myself and how I am great. And, <laughs> and not that I'm not great because I am great. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm 
healthy. Um, I have a lot to be thankful for. Let's just put it that way. But one day, maybe I will be able to say, hey, I did that by myself. Like, I beat this. I just want to beat it. Basically. So yeah, that is my... Those are some of my experiences with agoraphobia. Um, there are obviously plenty more and there are plenty of times where I've gone out and had anxiety attacks and had to come home and it's all just a process. That's it. It's a process. Oh, I'm dunking. But yeah, that... This video is going to be a lovely edit. But I'm going to go now, so I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.